All right, let's get going with some percents. So this one's all about March Madness, all about being a sports commentator. And so in order to do that, you got to know about percentages. So we're going to get started with that. So have your pencil out, have your um, packet ready to go, and let's start filling in some blanks. So first off, we got to know what is a percent. So first off, what I want you to do is write out of 100 next to where it says what is a percent because that is the most important thing to remember about a percent is it's out of 100. So then our first blank is a percent is a ratio that compares a number to 100. Again, that out of 100 is so, so important. So make sure you get your blanks filled in. This symbol right here with the, li the slash line with the two dots that's used to show percent. I'm sure you've seen that before, but just want to make sure we know that's the symbol that shows a percent. And percents can be used to easily compare values. So make sure you write compare values in your blanks there. Okay. So let's talk real quick how to represent 17%. That could be represented obviously with the percent sign, but we also can write it with our ratio um, ways to write with the fraction, the colon, or the word to. So go ahead and write those underneath or next to where it says 17% is equal to, and notice how we always have it out of 100, so 17 out of 100, 17 compared to 100, is 17 to 100. Okay? And if you need to go back and take a closer look, go right ahead, but I'm going to move on to the next thing, which is our example with some basketball players who I know look familiar to you. So we're going to compare these three basketball players' free throw ratios, and let's take a look at what they have so far. So go ahead and write these. Don't write them as big as you see here, but go ahead and write these ratios next to each player. So we got LeBron James at 18 um, out of 25. Kyrie Irving at 16 out of 20, and Stephen Curry 40 out of 50. So I want to talk real quick what these all mean and how could we possibly compare them. So the top number in each person's um, fraction or ratio is how many free throws they made, okay? How many free throws they actually made. The bottom number represents the total number of free throw shots they took. So they each took a different amount, right? LeBron only did 25 compared to Kyrie Irving did 20, whereas Stephen Curry over there, hot hands doing 50. So those are just the totals, and the um, top number is how many did they actually make. So the problem at this moment is we cannot accurately compare their free throw percentages or their, um, their ratios because they're not being compared with the same denominator, right? They took a different amount of shots. So yeah, Steph Curry had 40, but he also took a lot more free throw shots than the other two. And same thing, you might be like, well, LeBron has 18 compared to Kyrie only having 16, but LeBron took more shots than Kyrie did. So you can't compare them as is. So I'm going to show you how we can accurately compare whose free throw shot percentage is the best. Because right now it's not in a percentage form. So let's start with LeBron James. So go ahead and set yours up. And we're going to set this up just like how we did with our proportions. So we know the original free throw ratio they gave us. Now let's make our way towards a percentage. And in order to do that, it has to be out of 100. So notice how I set up the original ratio here of how many did they make compared to how many they took equals whatever their percentage is over 100 because a percent is always out of 100. So we can do this just like our proportion problems that we did last grid. So how to get from 25 to 100 times 4. So we do times 4 on the top. If you need to do that off to the side, feel free. I'm going to show you because you should have done this off to the side if you didn't already know. It's 72. So because we got 70, 72 out of 100, that means this percentage of free, for free throw shots that he makes is 72%. We can also show that in a grid. You do not need to draw this grid. You just need to have the proportion from above. But I just want to show you that this is a 100s grid, and you might have seen this before in elementary school. Um, but it has 100 little squares, and we can show it sh by shading in um, 10 columns, because it's a 10 by 10, to represent the 70, and then we shade in two more. It doesn't matter if we went across or down. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't even matter if we started down here. But this could also represent that 72%. It's just another visual showing that it's 72 out of 100. In this case, it's 72 squares out of 100. So that's LeBron's percentage is 72%. If you'd like to write that off to the side, that'd be helpful too. Let's take a look at Kyrie Irving. 
So we got 16 out of 20, okay? Um, that's what they gave us originally, and we're going to set that out of 100 to get that percentage. So same thing as we did before. We want to go from the original ratio to out of 100, so we're comparing it as a percentage. Let's use our proportion skills. I'm going to go across again and do 20 times 5 gives me 100. So 16 times 5 gives me, if you're not sure, do it off to the side, 80. So we get 80%. And again, if you want to rewrite 80% off to the side, feel free. So, so far, Kyrie's got a better percentage than LeBron over there at 80% compared to 72%. And again, I want to show you that that can be represented out of this grid. So this time I shaded in um, eight row or uh, eight columns of the 10 um, pieces. So I get that 80% out of 100 squares total. And you can see how more is shaded here than in LeBron's. So you can tell how his is more. Not just by the numbers, but we have a visual as well. So let's compare. So far Kyrie's in the in the lead. Let's compare to Steph Curry over here. Okay, so we've got 40 out of um, 50 that he took. We want to get that as a percentage, so we need to get it out of 100. And so I'm thinking, how do I get from 50 to 100? By the way, make sure you're setting this up with me. If I'm going too fast, feel free to rewind the video to go back and take a closer look if you miss the notes. But do have these notes written as you do this. So anyways, back to this. 50 times 2 gives me 100, so I'm going to do 40 times 2 to get. I bet you can do this in your head. 80. 80%. 80 so that means Steph Curry and Kyrie Irving have the same percentage. So even though Steph took more um, free throw shots, he had the same percentage that Kyrie did. And again, showing 80 squares shaded in out of the 100, just showing you a visual. You do not need to show the um, grid. I just wanted you to see it as a visual. So which player has the best free throw percentage? I'm curious if you um, kind of predicted at the beginning if you were correct or not, but I'm sure it would have been hard for you to tell that Kyrie and Steph had the exact same percentage. If I click back here real quick, um, to the original one, I don't know if some of you would have thought that. Now maybe you did, maybe you realized the connection, but regardless, it's very difficult to tell in this form with their original ratio. So when we get it out of 100, we can easily compare those percentages and clearly see that there is a tie between Kyrie and Steph. So they have the same free throw percentage. LeBron not too far behind, but his is a little lower in this case, at least with this um, ratio they gave us. Okay, so that's really important is uh, making that comparison um, is getting it out of 100. That's how we can be accurate with our comparison. So something really important I wanted to point out here, let's go ahead and write this proportion um, underneath that part to whole relationship. We've got percent over 100 equals part over whole. And that's just like what we were talking about here. Um, let me just go back real quick. I'll come back to it. I'll use stuff as an example. So the 40 again is the part representing how many did he make. So I also could have done what's the percentage of what he didn't make and I could say 10 out of 50 and then take that times two. So I got 20% that he didn't make. That's another way I could look at this. So this top part is a part whereas the bottom is the total or the whole sometimes we call it. Um, and the whole is always going to be lined up with the 100 because 100% is our whole when we're talking about percents. So that's why we have percent on top representing the part. Those two are the same thing. And then 100% or the 100, because it's still percentage, but 100% is the whole. So if you say you have 100%, that's like the total. So it's whole. So that's the, um, the proportion we're going to keep coming back to over and over and over again in all of our examples. So again, if you need to go back and take a closer look, I know there was a lot in this first video in 1A, but it was so important to tell you about all this and kind of set the tone and your foundation for the rest of the packet and the grid. Um, but if you got this, then go ahead and try that IXL, get a peer signature, and then move on to the next part. Good luck!